morning everyone welcome to this week's art weekly i've got three canvases the same size this one's primed and i think i showed these last week or the week before they've got grounds down nice and dry and i thought i'd just find a shady spot and i'm really taken with the um agapanthus <laughs> brain drain after days in the exhibition it's it was fantastic i'll talk more about it later but oh lovely to be at home today and hopefully doing some nice painting so i'm going to try and do something with these agapanthus and you'll also probably see behind me if you remember months ago putting up the tiny geraniums this is the the fruits of our labors i'll get the easel set up and um, um, get get going with some paint Changing panels, the temptation was overwhelming to lose quite a lot of paint that was left over. So I pushed in and I don't know what that will be or how I'll use it, but I know I will use it. And here I'm just using up the final dregs of paint from my palette getting ready to have another go. I really do enjoy mixing the blues and the yellows to try and come up with so many different greens. There are so many blues and so many yellows. These little De La Rowney tubes have yellow ochre. There's a cerulean blue. And here I think it's just a deep yellow and a deep blue. 
which give me quite a darkish green and I'm pretty sure that I put some white into this just to lift it and it becomes almost phthalo green but it's quite cool My first instinct is no, I don't want the thalo green, but I decide to stick with it. I often just keep turning the board, keep watching, keep feeling the next intuitive mark as, I, as, it, as it appears actually on the board. Yes, here comes the white, white paint. And there it goes, quite cool now. Following on from this, I take the violet, add a little bit of white with some neat violet. I really like the combination of the paper bag colour, the violet and the thalo, that light thalo. I'm quite happy with those at the moment. This little painting doesn't get too much further. You'll probably notice there's not too much water used. It's all pretty gloopy, thick paint now, especially using palette tools. And I like that effect. I like to build up a bit of texture. So I will leave these to dry. That won't take too long because it's a pretty hot day today and lovely to be painting outside. Morning everyone. I got a little bit more down on this one yesterday. This was the canvas that I smudged <laughs> with the palette and I do actually love this background note. So more to go on those. Last night the decision was made to free these long landscapes. I don't know where I'm going with them so I thought take them out of the frame and just keep to keep experimenting. I'm, I think I desperately wanted to get them to an end result thinking get them done, get them done, take them to the exhibition and it didn't happen. I wasn't happy enough to take them down there. So <laughs> I'm free, they're free and that means I can be free to just keep going until I find what it is I'm, I'm looking for. I thought I liked them and then they sat and I thought no, no. It's so interesting at what point we all think, yes, that's, that's what I'm after. I still haven't got there, but I'm really enjoying these three. The phthalo green has made me think it might be a good idea to get the colour wheel out and have a look at phthalo on the colour wheel. And if I have a look at the colour wheel, that might help me with a way forward. I found my colour wheel and this phthalo is a shade to my eye of blue green and it sits on the cool side of the wheel remember your shade is when you take your color and you add black your tint is when you take your color and you add white and your tone is when you take your color and you add gray so with the complementary bar arrow pointing to phthalo the complementary down here is a shade of red orange. It's tan. That looks like a, a brick, a tan colour to me. So that would work if I used that on my painting. But what really interests me, and the, and the triad colours are colours, sorry, not triad. The triad are the triangle colours off. So we've got a shade of yellow green and a shade of blue violet but the colours that have really interested me and that I forget to look at and forget that the colour wheel is so useful for are these tetrad colours so I've got my point at my complementaries and the tetrads here a shade of yellow green which which I know 
which I instinctively know will work, the shade of yellow orange is pretty much like paper bag colour. So that's, that's probably why I'm happy with that. The violet, I could enhance and bring in more violet and maybe now introduce a shade of blue violet and that might really help me just to be confident just to give myself a little bit of confidence you can obviously find your own way with color but if you've got a color wheel it really is such a useful tool i, I never underestimate the power of the wheel because it always rings true it, it can just give you the way forward when you're a little bit stuck. I'll keep this out and, and play with those colours and see the result. So I'm going to start with the yellow green and add in a little bit of black. Just a tiny, the tiniest amount. At about this point the lawnmower drowned me out so I thought I'll just talk through what I'm doing. One of the first colours, the, the shade of yellow green, made a shade by adding that little bit of black and and I love these, I love these shades of green. This is a dioxazine purple, a golden fluid. It doesn't want to open anymore. That, that's one thing with the fluid paints. If you don't keep that nozzle clean, it's quite tricky to um, open it once it's, once it's sealed up. So a little bit of that. And a little bit of red. This is a primary red. just to see, just to try and get the red-violet. This was not the best attempt at mixing a blue-violet. I used a blue with a bit of black, which was much, much too deep. So I think here I put in a little bit more blue. Yes. And that's really a mid blue and I think the blue really should have been more of a periwinkle blue to start with but that I didn't have to hand so this is very deep what to do I come in with white I did try no, I don't come in with white. No, no more violet. <laughs> What's that? Can't 
Gosh, I don't know what I've put down there. A violet. Yeah, I put down a violet and realised actually that is just too deep. But I carried on nonetheless, sort of mixing between those two areas of colour. If I zoom in that might show up, you might be able to see the colour better. I'm in a world of my own now, just playing, not thinking about Agapanthus, not thinking about very much at all. There's a nice breeze coming in from the garden, just just really freewheeling. I know that I probably won't keep these shapes, but while I've got all that lovely paint there, I'm going to just just see what comes. At this point, I really don't care for very much of what I got down. I've lost a lot of the thalo, but I never kind of worry about that. I just think that's the stage and it's something to really respond to. I like almost that I really don't care for it and that I've got to do something now. Oh, <laughs> look out. I'm going in for a swipe. Turning the board. It's a mess. So, what to do? Well, I kept going and let it just develop as it seemed to want to. No sense of agapanthus, something a little bit hydrangea-ish. Morning everyone. <laughs> well, what a really good day yesterday was. I got myself into a mess, a bit of a pickle, exploring and experimenting with the lovely colour wheel. So useful this is. I am really thrilled with the final, and this is an outcome. I'm going to gloss or matte medium, put that down this morning, um, and, I'm con and I won't be doing any more on there. So this is one of those occasions where something just comes along very quickly. That's a real buzz. These are the other two. I rather like the clean, oh, the, the sort of um, spareness, if you like, of that one. So I'm going to live with them for a few days. But I think I'll ask Craig if he can sort a frame for this guy, because I rather like that. So you know, I'm now thinking next week I might take one colour, look at the complementary and then work again on the tetrad colours. Uh, I found that so useful and I should use that colour wheel more often. So if you've got one, get one. If you haven't got one, rather, get one. If you have got one, have a play with it. It's so good. I've had this thing for so many years and just forget, forget to make the most of it. 
where are we? Quite a few more people came in at the end of the, towards the end of the exhibition. Oh, Nikki and Stanley. Lovely people, just, if you're watching, thank you so much for coming in. Just lovely. Maureen, Maureen, Maureen has become a lovely friend. Thank you, Maureen, for making the effort to come again, to come again. And um, we're going to meet in London and take in a gallery. So I'm excited for that. Uh, two paintings went out to Dubai and one that I know of went to the pink chair uh, in the St Ives, went to New Zealand. A lady, <laughs> we, we got a feel for the weight of it and she said that is going in my case and coming back to New Zealand. So I'm so grateful to everyone that came and bought paintings. Carmel and I, I'm going to drop a, a, a photo in of Carmel and I. Carmel, we both had success, which is wonderful, and um, we had the nicest time. So uh, on the Saturday, it, I think it was the Saturday, the last Saturday, I met Graham and Carol. I'm sending you great big hugs. Very gentle, wonderful people. But if I've missed you, I'm sorry, but I'm thankful. I'm really grateful. Yesterday, I had the delight of opening an email from a lady called Suzanne about three weeks ago. Hi Suzanne, if you're watching, three weeks ago or so, I sent Suzanne a painting from the website to America and it was a gift for her sister, Liz, and she sent me yesterday the photograph of Liz opening her gift. And um, that, that absolutely uh, floats my boat. A fantastic, what a thrill, a real buzz. The whole experience has been such a tonic. Yes, it's tiring, <laughs> but um, I'm recouping the energy now. And, um, but what a tonic, what, what a boost um, to get to meet some of you and, oh, just it's such a thrill for me it really is so i'm massively grateful i'm massively grateful for all the good wishes that i receive in the comments it everything is just such a spur to keep to keep going i've got some ideas i've got some ideas for next week i want to dig out some canvas a piece of blank canvas and um and it's, and it's either to do some plein air work or to make some smaller pieces, but I'll reveal all that as I get to it. Whatever you're up to this week, I hope you have a fantastic week. I'm sending big hugs and love to everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week, everyone, and I will see you next time. Thanks then, bye for now.